Now, former President Jacob Zuma's jail sentence is continuing as well to divide members of the ANC from Ganja to the Nelson Mandela Bay. His supporters say they are taking a stand. They marched in Kabecha to hand over a petition. Police had to disperse the crowd. Former ANC councillor in the metro, Andy Lelungisa, handed over the petition, which he says will reach the president. That's Cyril Ramaphosa. It states that the judgment against Zuma infringes on his rights. Lungisa spoke to ENCA's Nneba Ntanganiso. Today we are taking a petition uh, to the Judicial Service Commission, to the Parliament of South Africa, to the National Council of Provinces, also to the President of, the ANC, uh, of, of, of South Africa. We will also later send it also to the National Leadership of the ANC in order to petition the NEC. That is the main aim today. We are taking this petition to the Matawal uh, Court uh, based on the judgment which was delivered by the Constitutional Court in relation with the former president of South Africa, uh, Comrade Jacob Zuma. Our message is very clear that the Constitutional Court has moved beyond its own mandate. It has violated the Constitution of South Africa. That is why we are saying now the judges who presided over uh, that case uh, must be evaluated whether they are fit to hold uh, those positions, especially the seven judges. The ANC have sent out a statement saying they are completely against certain, they are saying certain groups using the ANC colors and the logos in this kind of uh, program that is taking place. What are you saying on that? Now you can you 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 you, you can see people who are wearing their own clothes. It's their own people. They are wearing their own clothes, uh, not anybody's clothes. Uh, we are here as ordinary South Africans. You must remember the South African struggle was a national struggle. It was not an ANC struggle. It was waged by all South Africans. When the constitution is being violated, it becomes a responsibility of all South Africans to stand up and defend that constitution, which will expect also the ANC to defend that constitution. Even the statements which were released by the ANC, they are in line that the constitution must be defended, which we are also hoping the NEC will also talk about in defense of the constitution. Because President Zuma, have been, his rights have been violated, he has been treated differently, he has not been treated equally, like all other normal citizens. That is our cry. That is why there's a petition which is written, is here in my hand, which it will go to all the bodies which I mentioned. We have broken uh, COVID-19 protocols by just gathering here and marching of which the government is saying no gatherings, no protests are allowed. Why are you doing that? No, there's no protest. You are not protesting. You can see here's my bag. I came in my car. I'm going to drive in my car. There's no one who's protesting. By, by standing here, people decided to come and greet. Because I'm standing in a community. They came and greet. It's not a sin. It's not a crime to come and greet especially when we have not violated any rules, when we have not broken any COVID regulations. Public police at the year, they've confirmed, they've concurred that we have not broken any regulations. We are peace-loving South Africans. We know the regulations. We know the laws of republics. That's why there's a petition, because we respect the regulations. Are you going to Ghana to support Jacob Zuma? Is he going to go to prison? Uh, we'll continue praying that President Zuma must not go to any uh, prisons. We'll pray Kamata, we'll pray that is an elderly person. Even when I was in prison, I paid money, I paid fines, I paid bills to release people more than the age of 60 when I was in North End. Because I know the pain of elderly people when it comes to COVID. We cannot allow elderly people to go to any centers. They must be able to stay in their own homes because they are the victims of this pandemic. You are out on parole. And um, they, they, you, you know, the, 
until breaking the parole uh, rules by also having this kind of gathering, meanwhile we're not allowed to gather. No, I'm not having any gathering. I'm talking to you. I came alone. People, they came alone. There's no gathering. I came alone. When I'm, in, I'm being interviewed by you, it's not a gathering. Uh, even in the uh, regulations, there's no way that I cannot be interviewed. If you want to hear my views, and then I'm saying, alone, I'm taking a petition alone. Lastly, Keda, uh, with you, just, we see just few people here. Do you think that you've got support in what you do? No, you must remember, you ask contradictory questions. There's no person who's here who's there to give any support. I'm in a community, people, they came, they are greeting, they are passing. You can see those who are driving cars, they put a belt because they are coming. They are passing. I'm alone because the regulation does not allow for anybody to mobilize. You know, if I can mobilize, the whole stadium will be full, but we must respect the regulations. The regulations which I'm respecting, you want me at the same time to break the regulations. You asked me about the question of people who are greeting when they are passing. Yeah, it's a contradiction. Where else this is taking place? No, 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 no. I, I, I won't know. What I know is that I'm taking a, a petition. Yeah.